G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today's video is about the Nature Hike Cloud Up One Tent. Now, I'll put all the specs up on the screen here somewhere and we'll see how long it takes to actually put this up. I'll be up front. I've done this once at the same spot last week. Uh, my second camera that I used lost a lot of the actual footage. So I decided to come back to the same spot and redo the video. But last week's was in the rain and this week's in the sun. It comes with your ground sheet, your mat or your footprint, known as different names throughout the world. Got the poles in here. They all do fit in the compression sack it came with. We've got the pegs in here and no doubt some dirt on them too. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve pegs. It's probably one of the clean ones I didn't use. And uh, it's just like the tri one. Not very long, lightweight, it's got their name on the nature hike, the aluminium. A lot of people are upgrading into bigger ones, but using this last week, no problem with it. Comes with three spare guy ropes in here, and I'll show you what they're for or where they're for. And inside the main sack, I've got the inner and the outer, the fly. So I'll start by putting the ground sheet down, and then I'll show you as I go. Just get the one pig. Now I'll just put the one peg in. It's got a little bit of a breeze every now and then, I don't want it blown away. Now I just want to show you one option. You can either put it up this way using the footprint first, or if you don't want to use the footprint, you can put it up this by using the inner, the actual tent part. And they've got all these pieces, and they're all connected by a bungee cord inside. So you're not going to lose any parts for this one, and it's just a single unit. This around, or just going to this little Y hub. Now, the pole is pre bent here just to make it easier for you setting it all up. The two, the Y part goes at the front where your door is, and the single goes at the back. And let's show you as well before I put the first one in. You have these little ends on it, and they just go into the grommets on the ground sheet, which I'll show you shortly.
So there's the main structure. I call it semi tree standing because you've still got to peg out two sides of the tent to get the, uh, the best space inside. And looks like it's waving around, but all that is is where the tree bend here. Just give it a different angle. Move it over, cap. Tension on it. Now the footprint, the ground sheet, I've seen people ask which is the right way round, so let me show you. Now on your ground sheet, you've got this label, a little nature hike tag. Now that goes on top, so that will be sitting on the bottom of the actual tent. And the reason for that is, you'll see a buckle here, which will connect your fly, and will then be on top of the actual strap. And this peg out point, excuse me a minute, and this peg out point here will be on the bottom. So the label goes on top. People have mentioned in other videos they don't know which way round it goes. So there's your answer. Now what I'll do is I'll peg the two end bits out either side and then I'll get the tent out. There's no need to pull these out really tight, just make them so they just pull. Now this is your inner. Here's your door at one end, the opposite end goes down to a point the same as your ground sheet. Here we are, the main tent, the inner, and all I've done as I was doing this is I took the bottom one off first, put the pole through the grommet, and then put the fly sheets, or the ground sheets, sorry, back on the bottom. And these are here to tie it out. I'll show you, you don't really need this, unless it starts to get windy. And before I start doing the rest of it up, these are the points I was on about, which pulls out to give you the space at the bottom. And just give a gentle tug, get in roughly the same place, and then we'll adjust them at the end. The next, we're doing these clips up onto the pole. And as you can see, the hooks go different ways. And I like that idea, because all we're gonna do is put it up to the pole, and let's get you so you can see it. Let's get it right, there we go. And then we just twist it and it's locked in place.
has a total of seven of them clips to clip it to the apple pole. Yeah, it's quite simple now. So next, let's put the fly on. Connecting the fly is quite simple, just get the buckle and clip it in. And I've used the buckle on the inner, on the actual tent, but we've got another buckle here on the ground sheet as you saw. And what that's for is if you don't want to use the inner and just use your fly, you'll put your poles, your fly, and then click the fly into this one. On each side we have this from the fly going to the inner and it is just a small buckle so we'll just click that in and what that does is when you peg that out it pulls the inner out to give you more space. Now what I'll do is go around and cinch all the lines up. And that's basically it. I haven't pegged out the poles points because I'm not stopping tonight but even without them pegged in it's fairly secure because we've got the two pegs at the front of the vestibule one either side which pulls the side out which gives you plenty of airflow and then we've got one either side which pulls the back out and the centre one at the back too which now <laughs> is actually loose the pole hook is holding it in place. So I've taken that one out because the pole's holding it. Now I mentioned the three spare guys. That's when the weather gets up. It gets attached to here. There's another one on the other side of the front. Which is there. And there's only one on the back. I think, yep, there it is. There's the back one. So if it gets a bit windy, 
you've got then three extra points to peg it down. So total, we've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve peg out points. And we have a vent on the front here. At the moment it's just Velcro down to be closed. And on the inside, I'll show you that, we've got a stiffener with the hook and loop, your Velcro. And it just goes on there and holds your vent open. The zips are YKK zippers. And we've got two put the points of Velcro on the side of your door. And they've got these major hike pieces of cloth on. Zip works pretty well. And we've got a tie back point here. So we'll just roll that up. And as you can see, it didn't take very long. I was taking my time. We've got a little um, line lock here. Put it through. Squeeze the sides together and pull it and hold your door in place. Now I could have rolled that up a little bit tighter, but that's just to show you it holds back. The zip is just a one way zip, there's not a second one up there, so you can't open it at the top to vent it. And your little tent zip on the inside. Now this one is a two way zipper on it, so you can either open it from the bottom or open it around to the top. And again, that's just got a tie back point, the same as the door one. I've got plenty of room in here. Pulled the sides a bit too tight, so I'll go and loosen them and actually pull them downwards to get this down. So there's plenty of room to sit up in this one. I don't know if you're going to be catching your head here, but a fair bit there. Yep, that's the highest point. But enough room to get changed. It's all heat seam sealed on the inside. So it's not going to let water in. And like I said I used it last week. In the rain, and it rained non-stop. From about 4 o'clock in the afternoon until about 7 o'clock in the morning. And it was bone dry inside. So the rain test got done. Now I'm going to go loosen these and I'll be back. There you go, that's better. That side has been a bit done a bit more. As you can see here, the little bathtub comes fairly high. We've got mesh all the way from the top down to about two thirds. And then we've got this solid panel all the way around. Except from the door, the door just stays as a mesh. We have a side pocket here, and there's one here. And we have a hook up here for your lantern. Now, I never felt any breeze coming through, so this panel here did block it. So I don't know what they class this as a three season or a four season or three, three stroke four season. But the temperature with the rain got down to about five or six degrees centigrade. And I was nice and toasty in here still. I was testing the sleep mat out and that was a fail. So. I'm going to do a review of that sleep mat soon. Yeah, I had plenty of room in here. I could get my sleep mat in here. I used a regular size one. It came to about here. And I've got my pack down this side. And I had all gear coming down this end. And I still had room at the far end where the camera's sitting now. With all the space I had down at the bottom, I could have fitted my pack going across there. 
there's room to spare so I reckon you could probably get a 55 65 litre pack down there and then your sleep mat and still have room down the side to keep your gear so that's how easy it is to put this tent up the features of it the quality are really good I suppose if you're looking at something lightweight this is just under 1.6 kilos and I think this is the 710 fabric on the outside so it's the heavier that nature hike do but if you're going to be using it here in Australia or in anywhere green the actual colour merged in with all the grass trees here in the background I had to use my head torch at one point and see if I could see it and on the uh, tie out points you got the reflectives and that's the only reason I actually saw this yeah I like it I do like it I do have the cloud up too which I'll be looking at and the whole idea of doing these reviews is the tents I've had on the shelf for a while and actually got a cloud up three which I only bought specifically because my granddaughter wants to go out camping with Poppy so that's there too we'll have a look at that but I'm going to find out which is going to be the best for me because if you follow my channel you know I like using the bivvy on the uh, Bibbulmore track when I'm doing the multi-day hikes but then again I love my hammocks too and I thought my tents were never going to happen again but there's a few times I've been out like I was out in the Vic 2 the other week I think actually that's probably three or four weeks ago still the other week and I still <laughs> I enjoyed it I think having the option is a good thing so see what mood I'm in and which one I'm going to use yeah so the tents that overlap each other's I'm going to choose and then sell the other one or the other two or whatever and I'm going to try and thin it down to make some room in my office so if you've enjoyed the video and you're not a subscriber please go down below and click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell next to that and select all so you can be notified of all upcoming videos and then click the thumbs up the like button and if you are already a subscriber again I thank you very much